I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. One of the best-selling book series of all time is finally available in digital format legally. You can now carry around with you at all times the seven Harry Potter books without worrying about breaking your back or having to tote around a book cart. The series is only available through the Pottermore website. The books are in the EPUB format, which means they can be read on most computers, tablets, e-readers, and smartphones. Now, when you go to download the books, you can choose to do so through Sony, Google, Amazon, or Barnes & Noble. Surprisingly, Apple's iBooks isn't on the list. Apparently, J.K. Rowling hasn't struck a deal with Apple yet, and that could be tough to get done as the books are only available for purchase through Pottermore. But thankfully, it's easy to get the books onto iBooks. Here's a quick tutorial. First, you go to the Pottermore website and click on the shop. From there, you have to sign in. Now, if you haven't already set up a Pottermore shop account, it's simple to do. Now you're ready to go. Just click on the eBooks tab along the top. Now you want to choose your language. Now, being Canadian, my only option is the English UK version, which is the versions that are available in the bookstores here in Canada. Now, you can buy any of the seven books or the complete collection for a little bit cheaper. And once you've selected what you want, you go through the payment process. When that's confirmed, you can go to the My Books tab and download the book or books. Of note, you're only able to download a book eight times, but that should be more than enough. Here's where you'll choose what device you want to download it for. You can choose the Kindle if you want as long as you have the Kindle app, but for this video, select the direct download to your computer. It'll start to download. Once it's done, I set up my own Harry Potter folder on my desktop just so that I have them all in one place. To get them into iBooks, it's simple. Select all the books and drag them onto iTunes. It'll take a second, but now you'll find all the books in the book folder on the left side. Now to get them into iBooks, simply connect your device, select your device and then click on books. Check off each one you want synced over, hit the sync button and let it do its magic. Once the sync is finished, open up your iBooks app and you should have the Harry Potter books in your library. It works just like any other ebook, the text is crisp and now you can carry all the books with you anywhere you go. Who knows if or when Apple's iBooks might be a selection when downloading the books. While this option does take a little longer, it is simple. For more daily iPhone and iPad news, check out iPhone in Canada and iPadincanada.ca and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.